Hi guys, I harvested all of these beautiful serrano peppers and they are big. Great harvest. And I even got some cherry tomatoes and this beautiful squash. Beautiful. And I got two Tabasco peppers and one Peter pepper. So everything's coming in. Today I'm going to make cowboy candy with the serrano peppers. So come along with me and we'll see how this turns out. Alrighty, I'm washing all my serrano peppers to get any kind of dirt off, any debris. And then we'll chop them all up. This is exciting. I've never made cowboy candy with serrano peppers. My jalapenos aren't coming up yet, so we'll probably dehydrate them. So let's get these dried off. Alrighty, I got my glove on and I've been slicing these jalapenos. I got quite a few done already. Since I'm leaving the seeds in, I'm just cutting the end piece off. And then I'm just cutting. We're leaving the seeds in because we want it spicy. Alright, I'm sterilizing my jars. And then we'll get to making the brine. Alrighty, I got all of my serrano peppers all chopped up. And now I'm going to make my brine. Alright, to start out, I need three cups of apple cider vinegar. It's usually one cup of vinegar for two parts sugar. So that's three cups apple cider vinegar. Alright, now I need six cups of white sugar. That's two, four, six, six cups of sugar, now four teaspoons of salt. I'm using coarse sea salt. So one, two, three, four. All right, now I'm going to use some celery seed. I need four teaspoons of celery seed. four teaspoons of turmeric. There are lots of different recipes out there, but this is the recipe I found that we enjoyed when we made them last year. One, two, three, four. Now four teaspoons of garlic powder. One, two, Three, four, and four teaspoons of red crushed peppers. One, two, three, four. All right, now I'm going to bring this to a boil, and then I'm going to reduce the heat and simmer for five minutes, and then I'm going to raise the heat to a boil again. And then I'll add the pepper slices and then return to a hard boil. And then reduce it again and simmer for exactly four minutes. All right, now I'm going to reduce the heat and simmer for five minutes. And all those sugars melt. You see that beautiful color of that turmeric. Alright, it's been five minutes. Now I'm going to raise the heat to a boil again and then add the pepper slices. And then I'll return it to a hard boil, then reduce the heat again and simmer for exactly four minutes. So I got to bring this to a boil. Now I'm going to add my peppers. My serrano peppers. Now we're going to bring this to a boil and then reduce the heat for four minutes. All right, now that it's boiling, I'm going to reduce the heat for exactly four minutes. It smells wonderful. 
Okay, it's been four minutes. Now with this slotted spoon, I'm gonna put the jalapenos in the jar. All right, with my slotted spoon, I'm gonna add these jalapenos to the jars. All right, I ended up with three jars. That was awesome. Now I'm gonna put the remaining liquid in there. And the rest of the liquid that doesn't fit in the jars, I'm gonna jar it up and I'll save that for my pickled eggs. Cowboy candy brine on pickled eggs, on your hard boiled eggs. Let it sit for a while, it is absolutely delicious. All right, and I'm using the chopstick to get any air out. It's not taking much liquid, and I'm leaving a quarter inch head space. Trying to get all the air out. Alrighty, I ended up with three jars of the candied serrano peppers. I'm getting the air out right now. And I have a quarter inch head space. And I even ended up with one whole jar of the brine, which I'm gonna pour over some hard boiled eggs and let them sit for a while and add maybe a little beet juice, and that's gonna be delicious. So I'm real excited about this. Now I'm gonna wipe the rims and put the lids on. All right, I'm wiping the rims to make sure there's no debris of any kind and sugar, peppers, that way we get a good seal. It's hot. And we'll put the lids on. Okay, now I'm going to add all my sterile lids. And just put them finger tight on there. to the water. All right, so now I'm going to boil these for 15 minutes. All right, now I'm going to remove these. Turn this heat off. Remove them. Now I'm going to let these cool undisturbed for like 24 hours and then I'll wipe them off with a clean cloth and label them and store them. But I'm going to use this brine to make pickled eggs and I'll pour this over my hard boiled eggs and I'll add beet juice and it is so good. But this is really exciting. I've already heard two pops. This is nice. So I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch more peppers, and I'll just keep canning them up. Um, these candied peppers are really good if you get a Ritz cracker and put cream cheese on it. And then a little teaspoon of the cowboy candy on it. It is so good. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for coming along, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.